Good morning, church family. It's Sunday morning, and I'm out here close to sunrise. Normally the time we'd be getting ready to have our service in the morning, our sunrise service on Easter morning. Today's a different morning than uh, what we're used to this time of year. But I wanna tell you something, just because it's a little different this morning, doesn't mean that the good news has changed. The good news is still the good news today. I want to read you some verses this morning out of Matthew chapter 28. The Bible says, In the end of the Sabbath, as it began to draw toward the first day of the week, came Mary Magdalene and the other Mary to see the sepulcher. And behold, there was a great earthquake. For the angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone from the door and sat upon it. His countenance was like lightning and his raiment white as snow. And for fear of him, the keepers did shake and became as dead man, the scripture says. And the angel answered and said unto the women, Fear ye not, for I know that ye seek Jesus, which was crucified. He is not here, for he is risen, as he said, Come, see the place where the Lord lay. And go quickly and tell the disciples that he is risen from the dead. And behold, he goeth before you into Galilee. And there ye shall see him, lo, I have told you. We look at the scriptures and we know that they came very early in the morning, the scriptures tell us. They came to the tomb. They're going early in the morning because, I don't know, for fear, I believe. And can you imagine, as they got close to the tomb that morning, can you imagine what's been going through their minds and what they've been living through for the past three days? And going through knowing that their Savior had died. And they weren't coming to the tomb to see that he had risen, they were coming to finish the burial process. They came early in the morning. I don't know what they thought was gonna happen. The seal was there. And can you imagine as they got close, the Bible talks about an earthquake had happened. The Bible talks about how the soldiers had fallen asleep. And can you imagine as they got close to the tomb that morning and saw the tomb was open? Can you imagine the fear that entered into their heart as they got close to the tomb and as they went in and saw that it was empty, that the body was gone. But I want to remind you of something today, church. Just as those ladies that day, Jesus rose again. And as the ladies went into the tomb, you know, God didn't have to move the stone away. The stone was moved away so that we could see inside to know the fact that Jesus rose from the dead. I want to remind you of something today as we enter this special day, this Easter Sunday, where we come together to remember what Jesus did by rising again. I want to remind you of something today, church. He's not here. He's risen. You could go around and look for every other religious leader of all time, and you can find a tomb where they're buried. But I want to tell you this morning, there is no tomb where Jesus was buried because no one knows the, the place, because he rose again. And the Bible says that they left that place with fear, but also great joy. I want you to know that in the midst of a fearful season, that there is great joy over what Jesus did. And this morning, I want you to know that he's alive. And as we get ready to go into today, in just a moment, we got a special song for you that Brother Mark came over yesterday and sang, and I want you to listen to it. And I just want to remind you of the great news this morning. He is not here, but he's risen as he said. Praise God, Jesus rose again. And we have reason to celebrate today as Christians. We have a reason to celebrate every day because we don't serve a dead Savior. We serve a risen Savior. And I love that song, I serve a risen Savior. He's in the world today. I know that he is living, whatever men may say. I see his hand of mercy. I hear his voice of cheer. And just the time I need him, he's always near. He lives, he lives. Christ Jesus, he lives today. He walks with me, he talks with me along life's narrow way. He lives, he lives, salvation to impart. You ask me how I know he lives. You know how I know he lives today? The Bible tells me so, but I also know because he lives inside of me. And aren't you thankful for your salvation today? Aren't you glad today that you serve a savior who's alive? Hey, our religion's not a dead religion today. It's a religion that's alive and we serve a savior that's alive. Let's rejoice in that today and knowing the fact that he is alive.
gates and doors were barred and all the windows fastened down. Spent the night in sleeplessness and rose at every sound. Half in hope of sorrow, half in fear of the day. Find the soldiers breaking through to drag us all away. Just before the sunrise, I heard something at the wall. The gate began to rattle and a voice began to call. I hurried to the window, looked down into the street, expecting swords and torches and the sound of soldiers' feet. But there was no one there but Mary, so I went down to let her in. John stood there beside me as she told me where she'd been. She said it moved him in the night and none of us knows well. The stone's been rolled away and now his body isn't there. We both ran toward the garden and John ran on ahead. We found the stone in an empty tomb just the way that Mary said. But the winding sheet that wrapped him in was just an empty shell. How aware they'd taken him was more than I could tell. Oh, something strange had happened there, just what I did not know. John believed a miracle, but I just turned to go. Circumstance and speculation couldn't lift me very high. Cause I'd seen them crucified. And I saw him die. Back inside the house again, the guilt and anguish came. Everything I promised him just added to my shame. When at last it came to choices, I denied I knew his name. And even if he was alive, it wouldn't be the same. Suddenly the air was filled with a strange and sweet perfume. Light that came from everywhere drove shadows from the room. Jesus stood before me with his arms held open wide. And I fell down on my knees and I just clung to him and cried. And he raised me to my feet and as I looked into his eyes, Love was shining out from him like sunlight from the skies. Guilt in my confusion disappeared in sweet relief. And every fear I'd ever had just melted into peace. He's alive! Heaven's gates are open wide. He's alive, he's alive. Oh, he's alive, and I'm forgiven. Heaven's gates are open wide. He's alive, oh, he's alive. Oh, he's alive, and I'm forgiven. Heaven's gates are open wide. He's alive, he's alive, he's alive. Jesus!